hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the juice from the palace of uni of ife uh, allegedly they said honorary mariam exposed uh toby's pregnancy and this is not the first time she is doing that too, but something uh, came up that made her to uh, go over it again you know uh, because mariam thought the king is treating some people special and others special because uh, maybe she thought or the king thought that uh, Toby is pregnant. Maybe as for Quenami's own, Quenami half prince that they now. So uh, Mariam said no, that she's not going to keep quiet and allow these people to keep deceiving the king so that uh, she will be treating them special, you know, marginalizing them. So and they say what uh, triggered all of this is the, the Christmas list. We do know that they said Quenomi provided, uh, uh, presented uh, her own Christmas list to the king. And the king even included some of the things that Quenomi did not include and did not complain about the list. They said Toby brought her own. Toby's own was too much too, but the king did not complain. Then... Mariam and the Ronke, they came up with their own with Ashley and they said their own cost about 23 million. And they said the king said no, that he's not going to continue like this. That all of you are women who works and make enough money. That how can this Christmas list be go going to be a, a big problem to you guys that he is not going to do it. And they said uh, Mariam, that was when Mariam burst out and they exposed uh, Toby. They said the king, uh, Mariam told the king that look, oh, you see all these things that they are coming to show you that they are pregnant. And when they bring their Christmas list, you will accept it wholeheartedly, thinking that uh, you are hoping for a baby from them. That you are wasting your time and making mistake. That Toby is not pregnant. That she have proof, that she have investigated and have proof, my people. How is Mariam investigating Toby to know if she's pregnant or not? I don't know. Hmm. So they said Mariam told the king that if Toby thinks that she is lying, that she can prove herself, that she have evidence everywhere. That Toby provided uh, uh, or, or showed the king a photo shoot, pregnancy photo shoot, making the king believe that she's pregnant. That if she's truly pregnant, why is she not comfortable staying in the palace, always running out and the end of the inside the palace? That the main reason she is doing all of that is to make the king to always look her way and to make the king to allow her stay in the palace, you know. Because initially we were hearing that uh, Toby would not be leaving the palace and all of that. But recently we heard that the king had bought a house for Toby. But a lot of people are saying that uh, this thing that uh, Mariam is saying is because of the Christmas list. Eh? Why others are saying is because uh, Toby... Uh, accused Mariam because some time ago we heard that Toby accused Mariam saying that she's always seen uh, Mariam in her dreams and anytime she sees Mariam in her dreams and wake up she will start seeing uh, blood uh, drops in on her bed and before you know it she will start having problem with her pregnancy so a lot of people are saying if truly that uh, Toby is pregnant that uh, she should leave the palace because there is so much stress in that palace and we do know that there is so much attack spiritual attack no be small thing no be small people say when they get pregnant they complain of that attack record that uh, uh, the serum came brought in one date like that and when she, uh, if a priest asks her why she should go and get a, a, a date that is disturbing the whole place because they said he first started crying because of the deity that Ronke brought to the palace. And when the far priest came, they said Ronke told the far priest that what she brought to the palace is not to harm anyone. That is for her own protection. That uh, the spiritual battle and the war that is going on in the palace, that everyone needs something to protect uh, herself. Hey. So that is to tell you that uh, you see the palace, if truly that uh, Toby is pregnant, it is not safe for her. It will be better for her to stay outside the palace and nurture her baby, you know. But Mariam is complaining that if she's pregnant, that she should be in the palace. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys are thinking what I'm thinking. Because to me, oh, if Toby is truly really pregnant and Mariam is agitating that she stays in the palace, that means there is something fishy. You know? <laughs> there is something fishy. In as much as uh, some people will say, eh, Toby is doing... I don't know, I don't know. Or could it be that Toby is going outside, maybe after nine months she will come back with a baby or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't just know. But for Mariam to come and complain that Toby, if she's pregnant, she should be in the palace hmm, and start uh, receiving attack again. I don't know what to believe or know what not to believe. But from what we heard, they said, Mariam said categorically that Toby is not pregnant. That if Toby likes, uh, if, if the king like, let, her, let him call Toby that she will say it before Toby and she have proof that Toby is not pregnant. But this Toby's pregnant, how long is he going to be uh, hidden? Because ever since, get, getting to almost uh, one, uh, one year now, every now and then we'll hear that Toby's pregnant. Every now and then we hear that Toby. Is it that she's getting pregnant and having miscarriage? That means she's into a very big mess. So, seriously, she needs prayers. She needs a very serious prayer. Uh -huh. Or maybe she is just faking it. I don't know. I can't just tell. But whichever way, they said, uh, Mariam have said it, that she is not pregnant. And a lot of people are saying that why Mariam is saying all of this is because she's angry. That uh, she is supposed to be the first wife and be in charge of uh, delegating duties to the women. But the king handed over everything to Dr. Elizabeth. So all of those things is making uh, Mariam to be angry and speak out of anger anytime. So we don't know which one to believe or, or which one not to believe. But from the look of things, eh, Mariam is not happy. Of course, no one is happy in that palace. They are just pretending. There is no happiness and love in polygamy now. Everybody just uh, survival of the fittest. And if uh, Toby will be paving her way with uh, pregnancy every now and then, mm, and it is working for her, Maybe Mariam should start uh, faking her own pregnancy too. But they said the king is not smiling well. When the king hears about it, that she was so f he was so furious that uh, he said that he is going to see to the end of it. We are waiting, you know, we are just waiting to see uh, his reaction. Uh, if eventually Toby is not pregnant, what he is going to do about it. But let's just hope that Toby is pregnant. After all, that is what we are praying, you know. But for, before that, they should do, do the needful, ask for phenomenal forgiveness, but because they really offended her. Uh -huh. So guys, I don't know. Uh, I just saw this and I thought I should come and share it with you. Don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? Thanks for watching. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel if you're here to subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Bye for now. Love you guys.